Well, Wise Legacy, man, you got me doing one more video. Um, my nephew's supposed to be spending the night. The thing is, do I talk to him about his personal business? The woman I think he's messing with is not worth his efforts, time, or giving out his phone number to. Um, how do you tell somebody who is loving how somebody makes him feel that that person ain't no good when that person ain't never showed them that they was no good? It's kind of hard to fight a menace if the menace is not menacing. Take the United States of America and all that is is done to the people in America, good and bad, laws, and restrictions, and you can't open up this new plant unless you give all these people top-notch medical and pay them top-notch wages to start your fledgling company. Um, am I mad at our country for my plight? Yeah. Lack of education, knowing what I know now, they could have did a better job. Um, the lack of basic human respect, knowing what I know now, knowing that they could have done this a long time ago. Um, the monetary system. You borrow $1,000 from a bank and you have to pay $2,375 back. That's a percentage that no one is willing to pay. Um, the housing situation, the racial situation, everything that has ever occurred to me is a product of the country in which I live in. Um, do I hate people? Yeah, I hate all rich people who, who manipulate and utilize us poor people at the bottom tier for their own personal gain and then they walk away from us like fuck it that's what I dislike I just like the fact that I went to school all those years and they said that they labeled me as a problem child and couldn't teach me shit and then all of a sudden I'm not gonna be nothing in life and then I see the fact that their assertions upon me made me who I am and I said to myself am I a loser because all my life people in authority have told me I was going to be a loser. Every image I saw of a black person with somebody struggling. Am I going to blame the situation around me for me knowing better now? You goddamn right I am. What I know now never helps me now. What I know now would have helped me then. But reality don't set in until reality then put their foot so deep up your ass you say damn this is real reality doesn't set in until mama and daddy stop paying your bills reality does not set in until you're faced with everything that you've ever thought was privilege why would you think living in our world in this day and age, in these times, would be a right. You have the right to live. No, you do not have the right to live according to the rules placed against you from birth based on who you are. You don't have the right to have a damn thing. But you have the opportunity to live the American dream. How in the fuck can I be born into an opportunity when the technology of my forefathers have paved the way for me to live a life free of work, necessity, and or need? You telling me that the technology on the planet cannot sustain the people on the planet? You telling me that I worked for a place that created jails that would grow trees in the desert. 
Once the trees start growing, they will change the ecosystem. You can terraform the planet that you're on because it has been terraformed before. You cut down a bunch of trees, you know it kills the environment. You plant a bunch of trees, you might be able to save the world. You kill a certain species of trees. Every cure known to man will never be seen. Who controls these things? Who has controlled the resources on the planet throughout time? Those are the people who set things in motion to put us to where we are today. You're telling me a man with no legs can't walk? You telling me someone who can't hear can't be given hearing? You telling me a person whose heart goes out can't get an electronic one to bring them back? You telling me that the technology that we have on this planet to save our lives should cost those who can't afford it? Then you're telling me we're living on a planet that is not ours. But one is leased to those who inhabit it with the greatest minds ever known to this earth. Please. There have been people making maps of stars that we haven't been able to see until the last 20 years. But the technology on this planet is not made to make the inhabitants free. Instead, the technology on this planet is used to enslave those who cannot afford to live in the world in which the technology is prevalent. In other words, you can't have what I can get because you might survive by using it. And if you survive, then you are a threat to my very existence. And if you are a threat to my existence, you do not deserve to live on a planet where I can control the technology that spawned from the people of the world to free them from their everyday discomforts. Where is the logic in enslaving a race of people to get from point A to B? Where is the logic from denying people a life they want to live. Where is the logic to handcuff a person mentally just so you can get 15 feet in front of that person in line to die first? Where is the logic in living as a human being on this planet if humanity is not for humanity? Where is the logic when the need costs you more than the value of the property in which you want to buy? The need to have is actually worth more than what you need. Where is the logic in being free? Enslave me and give me every damn thing that I dream about. But don't let me know I'm enslaved. Where's the logic when you can't keep up in that? The Matrix? It's a fairy tale. The reality is this. We all belong to something. Or someone. Because if we didn't and we were truly free, you wouldn't have to pay for a CD. You wouldn't have to pay to watch that movie. That movie about blowing up things and killing people would not exist. The world in which we live in would not only be a science fiction, but far from reality because we wouldn't have to need to hurt, to kill, to conquer and to defeat each other in this game in which we call humanity? Where is the humanity 
You've been too.